Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly check your website pages for dead links using Check My Links Chrome extension. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And inside Google Chrome, you're just going to type into the search Check My Links Chrome extension. I'm going to click on this one here. And we're going to go to this website and we're going to check this tool here. We're going to add it to Chrome and we're going to click add extension it's going to pop up here and when we close this little tab it's going to disappear so we'll click on the little puzzle icon and we're going to go down to find that particular tool uh, let's see where it is check my links It's right at the top here actually so we just pin it and we can see it now it's permanently pinned at the top so what we can do is close this and we can go to any website so let's say if we go to my website for example now with Google and search engines and especially user experience, if a user is looking at this web page and they're scrolling through and they click on a link somewhere on a button and it goes to a dead page, right, a page that doesn't exist anymore, that's a bad user experience. And Google search engine doesn't like that and the user themselves won't like it very much either, right? So if they go and click on a page like about us and it doesn't load properly, let's say for example, you see a 404 like this, then we need to find those errors. They're not really errors, they're just pages that maybe existed at some point, but you removed them or deleted them or there might be external pages from an external website that you link to often in my blog post I'll link to external websites uh, for reference right especially like this one here for example like five amazing websites so I've just linked out to these particular websites and these pages so to use this tool if we go to the home page for example and we click on this tool it's going to scan all of the links and it's going to tell me that this 88 links and then one of the links is a redirect here. Yeah? So there's no warnings and there's no invalid links. That's what we want to see. Then we can go over to the blog, for example, or the portfolio, and then we can click on it again. It's going to go and scan all of the links. Uh, it's quite a lot on this page. So it's 136 all valid so I use this tool if um, if I see a report or if one of my developers tells me that there's a, a dead link on one of my blog posts or something rather than me sitting there especially on like a really big blog post so something like um, how to improve your SEO using schema if I had to sit here and try and find dead links in this blog post right it's going to take me quite a long time but I can just click on this tool it's going to scan through everything it's going to show me which ones are dead links so there's 215 links on this page. So imagine if I had to check each individual one, it's going to take some time. So anything that's redirecting is okay. You should always go and double check redirects, but they normally tend to be okay. And it's got 216 valid links. So I use this tool to go and scan through pages where I believe there's a dead link or there's a problem. And I don't want to sit there and try and, you know, you're not going to sit there and click on 215 links. It's going to be a bit of a, a problem to try and click through every single link. It's going to take quite a long time. This green highlight just showing you where it's checked the links, right? So when anything that had a link on it it's just going to highlight green in, in terms of text content and some elements on the page right so you can just scan through it and anything that isn't green in here it's going to highlight and show you um, where those errors might be so they'll be highlighted in a, in a red color for example so if we do click on it one more time let's just have a quick look yep so then it shows three that are redirecting and then 216 that are valid, right? So I think this is quite a useful tool, especially if you're working on website projects, whether they're just your own personal projects or you're working on a business project, then uh, definitely this tool is one of my arsenal of tools that I have up here uh, to use um, uh, in Google Chrome. Google Chrome is quite powerful. Don't forget that you can also use a lot of these extensions, the same ones in Microsoft's uh, browser as well because that is also using the same engine as Google Chrome. So a lot of these extensions, when I click on here, you'll see that they'll also load up directly in Microsoft Edge as well because they're using the same engine now. So they're cross compatible, which is quite important. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. Let's close this down. That's a little tutorial showing you how to use the quick uh, tool to check for dead links on your website pages. Okay, hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.